Hello everybody, this is Miss Kavanaugh here and today I'm going to be teaching you all how to do a cartwheel. Just to start, you're going to notice that I am inside for this. I'm actually sitting at my kitchen table right now. It is May, which means the bugs are brutal and it's quite humid outside. So for the intro part, I'm going to start in here explaining exactly what I'll be teaching you today. And then we're going to go outside for the actual cartwheel action. Now, I'm not a gymnast. However, I did do competitive cheerleading for seven years of my life. So a cartwheel is a skill that I was able to pick up on. And I remember when I first started cheerleading and learning how to do cartwheels, I did them all the time. And my friends had asked me to teach them how to do them too, because they wanted to join in my fun, but they didn't really know how. And they, along with a lot of people who are trying to learn how to do cartwheels, they tried to start with the wrong approach to it, which was often standing sideways with their arms out and trying to whip themselves around. And sometimes it somehow worked. Most of the time it did not work and there is a reason for that. Now the reason why we don't start off our cartwheel sideways and just whip ourselves over is because we don't have a correct way for our feet to get back on the ground to get us back up safely in a controlled way. And it will probably look a little something like this. And you also don't really need a running start. Now, as graceful as that looks, that's not actually how you do a cartwheel. So I'm gonna be going over the right techniques that you can use on how to get your feet back on the ground, where you should have your hands, and how you should start to get enough power to get over, but enough control to do it safely. That's gonna be the focus of today's video. All right, with that being said, let's head outside and I will show you how to do a cartwheel. Alrighty, so we are outside. I have my mat set up here behind me and we're gonna go over exactly what you need to do to be able to do it. actually doing it, there's one thing that's going to help you remember how to start and how to land this. And that's gonna be doing hand hand but before. We don't wanna start going sideways and whipping ourselves around. We actually wanna start facing forward and it's actually going to start off in a lunge. Now the reason that you start off in your lunge is because this is what's going to give you the power to drive your cartwheel. Have our lunge, want to step hand, hand, foot, foot. And that's how it's going to work put together. Obviously it's a little faster than that. It's a little hard to do that in slow motion, but that's going to be the way you want to remember how to start. So a little faster, look something like this. Hand, hand, foot, foot. So another angle and slowing it down a little bit, you can really see that push off that front leg and the hand, hand, foot, foot technique that you need to use. My foot slipped and I had to freeze it here because that face was priceless. You'll also notice that my arm stays straight and I use the momentum of my legs swinging around to stand back up, pushing through my shoulders and fingertips and you'll notice that we also land in that same kind of lunge position we started in. Now, as a beginner, your cartwheel may look a little more like this, but that's definitely okay because it's all about getting that technique down first. All right, so let's review. So remember that we wanna start off in that lunge. That's gonna give us the driving power using that front leg to really push and help you get your legs over and the hand-hand foot-foot placement technique to remember how to start and how to finish. Alrighty, now that I'm back inside and cozy away from all those mosquitoes out there and exhausted from all the cartwheels, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who took the time to watch my video today. I hope you were able to learn something. For beginners, I hope that seemed a little less impossible for you to try on your own because I know you'll be able to do it. And for those who had a little bit of an idea but needed to get the proper technique to land it successfully, I hope this helped you as well. Remember to keep practicing. You're not going to be perfect the first few times, but with practice, you you'll get the hang of it. Thank you very much.